Step number five of your CMA Wizard is the presentation setup. It begins with your cover letter, and as you can see here, it allows you to enter your client's information, prepare it by, all of your agent information will come forward for you. The title, CMA Presentation, you can change that description if you want. Your cover page type, notice you have two options, subject property, are agent centric and when you look at that it tells you this particular page type the agent type is centered around you the agent it contains the theme you selected along with your contact information so notice that is the default and that may be where you want to keep yours and then you can have additional uh, options that you can bring in be it your company logo or your picture of yourself then when we look at the cover letter the cover letter, um, when that box is already checked, identifies that it's already been selected. So if you want to build a cover letter, this section would give you the opportunity to do that. Modify cover letter would allow you to put in the information that you want. Any of these boxes that are already checked, that means the system has already selected that for you. But if you don't want to include it, you simply uncheck it. And remember the um, option of coming up here periodically and clicking on save. Your company information, remember this is created by the broker. So the broker would build the company information, the details of your subject property, and then other wonderful options that are available to you as well. For example, the price analysis. It's good to be able to see how the system is actually going to determine the suggested price based on all the adjustments that you performed in your previous step. So it looks at the low, high, average, and medium price of all of your comparable properties. And it looks at the adjusted price for each of those as well. And then it uses the subject properties price and comes up with the suggested list price for you. Now you can identify the high end or you could even change these ranges as well if you choose. So just wanted to point out a few of these areas that are already selected for you. And then also to let you know that the system does bring in some additional really great reports that you may want to consider. They are not checked off right now. For example, determining value, value of a real estate professional, a marketing planner, selling versus timing. All of these are just great reports that you can view. And then after viewing them, if you decided, gee, you know, I, I, I really like the way this is laid out. So after viewing that, if this is something that you would like to include as an additional report, you simply check the box accordingly. So you identify the additional information that you choose to bring in. And then there are other options available for you as well. You just go through and look at the ones that you feel that are work in your environment best. Then we have another wonderful tool, Upload Documents. This program actually gives you the opportunity to upload up to 10 additional documents. Perhaps you've created your own version of a wonderful marketing report. Well, you can create it. Let's say you save it on your desktop and you can just upload it and bring it in. So again, you have up to 10 additional documents that you can bring in. This concludes my presentation on step five, your presentation setup of your CMA wizard. Thank you.